Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of h if we have h is divided by h is divided by h is equals to h is multiplied by h is multiplied by h. So we solve this problem for the values of h. Now here, uh, uh, here we will just ex little bit explain about the left hand side. You see here. In the left hand side uh, we have division sign is uh, here in multiple times okay so uh, the rule of solve this type of division is that we can solve this type of division from left to right side okay so it means that we need to first solve these divisions and then we solve the next division and up to so on okay so if you can do these divisions first then you get here wrong answer okay so you cannot do these divisions first because the rule is that we can solve uh, the multiple divisions uh, from left to right side okay so here first we need to uh, do the divisions of these two terms and you see here h divided by h is equals to what because we know that if you divide 4 by 4 it means that if you divide two any two same numbers you always get the answer is 1 according to this rule when you divide h by h you also get here 1 is divided by h is equals to here in the right hand side you see that h is multiplied by 3 times and uh, exponent of all of these h is 1 so we add all of these 3 exponents so you get here h cubed okay so further in the next step uh, you see here uh, we need to uh, uh, we write this uh, 1 divided by h in this form this will be written as 1 over h is equals to h cubed and you see here the, uh, the denominator of this term is 1 and now we cross multiply the terms we multiply 1 with 1 and h with h so after cross multiplication of these terms we will get here 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to h multiplied by h cubed so we have 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to 1 and h multiplied by h cubed is equals to h to the power of 4 and you see here this is uh, the fourth order equation it means that this equation has four roots so now in the next steps we need to find all of that four roots of this equation so first we move this one to the right hand side and we will get here h to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0 and now we rewrite this equation as here we have h to the power of 4 we break this 4 as h square and its whole square minus we write this one as one square and this whole equation equals to 0 and here in the next step we solve this problem with the help of algebraic formula and you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so according to these two values of a and b we write our above equation as in this form so first we have the first factor is a minus b the value of a is h square minus the value of b is 1 into again we have a plus b the value of a is h square plus the value of b is 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write h square minus 1 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write h square plus 1 is equals to 0 and now we find the above four roots of the given equation from these two cases and now here from this case we write it as h square minus we write this one as one square and this whole equation equals to zero 
and here we again apply this algebraic formula so according to this formula we write these terms as h minus 1 times of h plus 1 is equals to 0 and here we again break this equation and we write it as h minus 1 equals to 0 and h plus 1 is equals to 0 and here we have the value of h is equals to 1 and from here we have the value of h is equals to minus 1 so here we get these are the first two real root of the given equation which we get here from first case and now in order to find the other two roots we need to solve the second case and now in second case we first move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as h squared is equals to minus 1 and in order to remove the square root sign we need to take the square root on both of the sides and you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here h is equals to and you know that when we apply square root on both of the sides then we can just write here the plus minus sign on any one of the side and now uh, you see here we know about that the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so uh, it means that these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so uh, finally we have the four roots of the uh, of the given equation are the first root is h1 is equals to 1 the second root is h2 is equals to minus 1 and the third root is h3 is equals to plus iota and the fourth root is h4 is equals to minus iota so these are the four roots of the given equation in which two roots are real and two roots are complex and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos